Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I am so glad you are here. I thought that for the first class of 2022, um, it could be fun to do a class about yoga for a fresh start. And using your practice to create a fresh start is honestly one of my favorite things about the power of your yoga practice. This class is inspired by um, an ancient sacred text for yogis, the Yoga Sutras, written by Patanjali. And if you're not familiar with the Yoga Sutras, um, it is a collection of aphorisms that can, can be read and studied in its entirety, or you can take your time um, and focus on one sutra at a time or spend time meditating on just one sutra. Um, sutra means thread. And so these aphorisms are kind of these distilled nuggets of wisdom onto which you can kind of put the beads of your own experience. The first of the Yoga Sutras is Atta Yoga Anushasanam, which means now we begin the practice of yoga. And I love, love, love that because on the one hand, that is introducing you to the entirety of the Yoga Sutras. And, right, when we study or meditate on that one sutra by itself, it's reminding us that yoga, the state of union um, that you experience within yourself, with your higher self, or whatever you perceive that to be, is going to be available to you in the present moment. And it allows, it reminds you that coming back to the present moment is always available to us. It is always a choice that is there. And I have found um, with lots of time that, you know, I used to think when I first started yoga that I would have no problems and I would have no negative thoughts, no self-doubt, no insecurity, no judgment, da 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 da, da. Um, But with time and with other you know modalities of growth i have learned to become hopefully a little more skillful in noticing when i'm following down kind of the spiral of anxious thoughts when i'm sort of in this monologue of talking to myself not very kindly and it's almost like right this kind of invisible inner yoga of being aware of that witnessing without judgment, what's happening, and being able to lovingly bring yourself back to the present, making that choice to be in the present moment, and then to maybe choose a new thought, choose a thought that's more positive, more loving, will get you connected again to your higher self. Um, and that kind of work, I think, can be very interesting to do in a physical yoga practice. So that's what we're going to do today. So you don't need anything for class today, just your lovely self. And when you are ready to start, I will meet you on your mat. All right, y'all, we are going to start in a uh, child's pose. So let's come to the back of our mats. You can bring your big toes together to touch. Set, set your knees as wide as it's comfortable for you and let your hips root to your heels. The forehead can come down. Allowing yourself to transition out of whatever it is that's been going on into your day. Transitioning into the sacred space of your mat. Let's take a full breath in together, getting a little more grounded. We'll breathe in here through your nose to fill up. Open mouth, exhale. One more time like that, breathing in, breathing out. So if we're thinking about this idea, now we begin the practice of yoga. One of the most powerful ways, right, to bring yourself back into the now 
is to let yourself open up into that experience of your breath. Every new wave of breath is that new opportunity to come back into the present. Let's stay here for one more inhale. One more exhale. Finding all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, cow pose, lift your tailbone, reach your heart up. Push the floor away as you inhale. Exhale, cat, rounding your back, let the head hang down and relax completely. Inhale, cow, lift your tail, lift your heart. Exhale, cat, round your back. One more time, inhale to open. Exhale to round. Good, and then from here, find neutral in your spine. Send your right arm forward, left leg back, and finding a floating tabletop or bird dock, and we'll hold. So we'll be focusing a lot on balance. Um, I think balance is a pose balancing poses, you really have to take them moment to moment, right? And when we fall out of something like a balance pose, we can make that choice, right? We can kind of fall down that spiral of self-commentary or doubt, or we can make that choice, right, to move on to the next moment, to re-engage with the next moment. Let's take one more inhale to lengthen the fingertips long. Listen here. And then as you exhale, tiger pose, bend your left knee and reach your right hand back for the left foot. Feel free to lift the left inner thigh, curl your heart back. Steady sips of air to help you balance. And then slowly transition. Inhale, reach the right arm forward, left leg back. Exhale, table. Inhale, cow, lift your tail, lift your heart. Exhale, cat, round your back. Neutral in your spine, and we'll switch sides. So now you'll send the left arm forward, right leg back, and let's pause here. Drop your right hip down, but press into your right hand. Send the left bicep to hover by your ear, and also really extend the crown of your head forward. Squeeze your right glute to lift the right inner thigh a little higher, and we'll breathe in. Exhale, tiger pose. Bend your right knee and reach back with your left hand. Lift your right inner thigh. Let your heart lean back a little bit. Taking one more inhale. Stay your exhale to slowly lift a little higher. Release your arm and leg as you inhale. Balance through that transition. Left arm forward, right leg back. Exhale, table. Inhale through cow, exhale rounding through cat and all the way into down dog, stretch your hips high. Finding that nice inverted V shape in the body. Let your head relax here. As you inhale, look towards your hands and take your time as you exhale, walk to a ragdoll fold. Bring your feet behind your wrists and bend your knees to help the, tail, the torso melt down. The hands can rest on the floor or maybe you're holding your hands to the opposite elbow. Let your head go. Let your torso lean a little bit forward, sending more weight to the ball mounds of your feet. And we'll breathe in here. Exhale, relax your hands down. And then let's bring your big toes to touch, a little bit of space between your heels. Press your hands against the shins, inhale to a halfway lift. Roll the shoulders together and down as you stretch the heart forward, breathing in. Exhale, forward fold and release. Inhale, let's rise to stand, push into the feet. Lift the chest, reach your arms up. Palms touch, exhale, hands to your heart. Good, let's take a sun salutation just to start to build some heat in the body. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Lift up halfway as you inhale. 
exhale, moving through high to low plank. Feel free to have the knees down or the knees lifted, but bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Inhale to your back bend, cobra or up dog. Up dog, really lift your kneecaps, lift your thigh bones. Exhale, downward facing dog, take it back. Full inhale here. Full exhale. And then listen here, let's inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot in between your hands. Take an inhale, bend into the right knee, pull your heart forward. Exhale, extended pyramid, begin to lengthen both of your legs, lift your hips up and fold the spine down. Inhale, bend your right knee, come forward. Exhale, extended pyramid and folding back. Good, one more time, inhale, bend your right knee. Exhale, lifted pyramid and fold. Bend your right knee, inhale, come forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, other side. Inhale, float your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge and step your left foot through. Take an inhale, bend the left knee, lift the heart. Exhale, lifted pyramid, folding over your left leg. So really feel the tailbone arch up and back. Melt your spine down. A little bit of flow with this. Inhale, bend the left knee, come forward. Exhale, lifted pyramid and fold. Inhale, bend the left knee, come forward. Exhale, lifted pyramid and fold. Let's bend your left knee, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, forward fold, travel to the front of your mat. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Listen here, bring your big toes to touch. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, sink your hips down and lift the arms and we'll breathe here. So there's about three inches or so of space between your heels. Reach back and down and back and down through your hips. Always option to reach the arms shoulder height. All right, but coming back to that sense of now we begin the practice of yoga. Even within the discomfort, right? Even within finding your edge of a pose like chair, what is that inner dynamic that brings you back to the here and the now? Taking one more inhale. Exhale at airplane arms. Your hands will pull back behind you and pause. Lift your hands higher than the low back. Pull your elbows closer together and your shoulder blades roll together and down. You'll inhale. Then exhale, sink a little bit lower and shift to your right heel. Inhale, send your left knee up to a one-legged mountain. Reach your arms overhead. Press your right thigh bone back as you scoop the tailbone forward. So feel your right glute engage. Inhale, growing taller. Exhale, let's take a Shiva squat. Your hands will come to your heart. Start to cross your right left thigh behind your right as you bend the right knee and sink your hips back and down. Now maybe your left toes come down here, but maybe your left heel pulls to your hip. One more cycle breath in. Stay the exhale, squeeze your inner thighs, sink back and down more. Good. Hands will come to the floor. Inhale, standing split, just passing through here. Press your legs away from each other. Lift the left calf towards the ceiling as you inhale. Exhale, slowly land your left toes down, low lunge. Lower the left knee, inhale, low crescent. Scoop your hips forward, rising up tall. Hug your inner thighs towards each other. We'll take a big inhale. Tuck your left toes, exhale, crescent airplane. Lift through your left knee, pull the heart forward and sweep your hands back. Inhale, warrior two. Spin your left foot down, open your arms wide and pause here. Lengthen your tailbone down towards the floor. Rise your heart to stack over your hips and let your head float over your heart. Good, let's inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle. Shift your torso forward and place the right forearm down. 
roll the left side of your chest back. Bring your ears back so your head is in line with the rest of your spine. Stay low in your legs. Inhale, reverse warrior. Let your left hand release down. Stretch your right arm up and back. Take a big inhale to puff up through the right waist. Exhale, your choice. Finding high to low plank. We're taking it right to down dog. Back bend on your inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a big inhale here. Big exhale out. <sighs> Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, forward fold. Let's find the front of your mat. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold and release. Big toes touch. Inhale, chair pose. So once again, we'll hold this chair. So embracing how we can find some discomfort. And notice if you're focusing a lot on how uncomfortable you are, because I know from experience, um, now we begin the practice of yoga. Maybe you choose a different thought that's a little more joyful. Maybe just sensing with a little more presence what's right here and right now. Breathing in. Exhale, airplane arms, sweep your hands back behind you. Roll the shoulders together and down as you inhale. Stay the exhale to sink lower and shift onto the left heel. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana or mountain pose. The right knee rises as your arms rise. Stabilize your standing leg, squeeze through your left glute and press the left foot down. Inhale, exhale, Shiva squat. So you'll cross right thigh behind your left. Stretch your hips back and down. So you'll feel the left knee bend, but your knee will stay mostly over your ankle. So there's going to be a lot of work in the left glute. One more cycle breath in. Stay the exhale. Squeeze in her thighs. Sink back and down. Release your hands. Inhale, passing through standing split. Fold over your left thigh. Press your legs away from each other as you inhale. Exhale, land your right toes to find low lunge. Lower your right knee. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Stack shoulders over hips and let your arms rise. Pause here. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other as you scoop the hips forward. Breathing in. Exhale, tuck your toes, crescent airplane. So lift your back knee. Let yourself hinge forward as you pull the fingertips back behind you. And then that big movement, inhale, warrior two. Open up and hold. As you push down into your right heel, lengthen the tailbone straight towards the floor. And reach evenly fingertip to fingertip. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Take the torso forward. Let your left forearm come down. Turn the right side of your chest back. Stack your right thumb over the tip of your nose. And then keep your legs the same. We'll inhale, reverse warrior. Stretch your left arm up and back. Find space in the left waist as you inhale. Exhale, your choice, down dog or flow. Downward facing dog is where we meet. Let's breathe in and breathe out. So we'll flow this sequence, starting to unite our breath with our movement. And every breath right, that you experience is that opportunity. Now we begin the practice of yoga. So take this flow, breath by breath, and moment to moment, being in the here and the now. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, forward fold, travel to the front of your mat. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, fold. Here we go. Inhale, chair pose, sink low. Exhale, airplane arms. Lift your left knee as you inhale, rise. Exhale, Shiva, squat. Inhale, standing split, press your legs apart. Exhale, low lunge. Lower your left knee, inhale, low crescent lunge. 
tuck your toes, exhale, crescent airplane. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, come forward. Inhale, reverse warrior, take it back. Your choice as you exhale, down dog or flow. Back bend on your inhale. Exhale, downward facing. Look forward as you inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, forward fold. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, fold. Big toes touch, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, lift your right knee, one leg mountain. Exhale, Shiva squat, cross your right thigh behind your left. Inhale, standing split, press your legs apart. Exhale, low lunge, land your right toes. Inhale, low crescent, scoop your hips forward. Tuck your toes, exhale, crescent airplane. Inhale, warrior two to open. Exhale, extended side angle, come forward. Inhale, reverse warrior, reaching back. Exhale, your choice, down dog or flow. Back bend on your inhale. Big exhale, down dog. All right, yogis. So now we'll start to have a little bit of fun. We'll play around as we add on some balance poses to the sequence. Let's inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, forward, fold, travel to the front of your mat. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, fresh wave of breath, sink low. Exhale, airplane arms. Lift your left knee, inhale, one-legged mountain. Exhale, Shiva squat, cross and sit. Inhale, standing split, press your legs apart. Exhale, low lunge. Now listen here, push into your hands, sweep your right leg high to a three-leg dog, lift your right leg. Now listen here, look at your left foot. As you exhale, start to walk your hands to your left foot, finding a standing split at the back of your mat. Whoo, crazy stuff, right? Take an inhale, press the right thigh higher. Then listen here, as you exhale, bring your right knee into your chest. Start to bend the left knee as you tuck chin to chest. Can you roll up to stand whoo, with your right knee in? And if you fall out, right, now we begin the practice of yoga. Give yourself that fresh start. Come right back. Inhale. Exhale, tree pose. So bringing your right foot to left thigh or your calf. Press your hands to your heart as you lift the heart. Maybe you challenge your balance here to lift the gaze, maybe lift your arms. Every breath is that fresh start. We're here for three. We find one-legged mountain in two. In one, so one-legged mountain, bring your right knee in front of the hip as you inhale. Exhale, diving all the way into standing split. So folding back forward again, lift your right leg. Inhale, start to look forward. Then take your time as you exhale. Let's try it out. Start to walk your hands back to that three-leg dog. Yeah, just trying it out. <laughs> Good. Playing around with it. Inhale, lift the right heel higher. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot through. Inhale, low crescent, scoop the hips forward. Tuck your toes, exhale, crescent airplane. Inhale, warrior two, open. Exhale, extended side angle, come forward. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach it back. Now listen here, as you straighten the right leg, I want you to come into wide-legged forward fold. Start to sweep your body down and around. So the heels turn out, toes will turn slightly in. Take an inhale, lengthen your arms, lift your heart. And as you exhale, let's fold a little bit deeper. 
Listen here, inhale, place your hands under your shoulders. As you exhale, let's hop your feet together at the center of your mat. Big toes touch, inhale through chair, listen here. We'll exhale to take eagle on your left. Take your left elbow under your right. Hands can come on your shoulders or palms pressed together. And let's take your left leg, cross it over your right. Squeeze through inner thighs. Lift the elbows to shoulder height. Looking at one thing that is not moving. You're here for three. We find chair pose in two. Unravel in one. Inhale, chair sinking low. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, step or hop your feet back out to wide leg fold. Turn your body back around, inhale through low lunge. Your choice, exhale, down dog or flow. Back bend on your inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, forward, fold, travel to the front of your mat. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, fold. Here we go. Inhale, chair pose. This is your last side, team. Exhale, airplane arms. Sweep the hands back. One leg mountain. Inhale, lift your right knee. Exhale, Shiva squat, cross, and sit. Woo. Inhale, standing split. Press your legs apart. Exhale, low lunge. Now this time, right, we change it up. Push into your hands. Inhale, send your left leg high to a three-leg dog. Look at your right foot as you exhale slowly. Begin to walk your hands towards your right foot, finding a standing split here. Crazy stuff. Inhale, lift the left calf a little higher. Let's try this out. As you exhale, start to bring the left knee to chest. Bend your right knee a little bit. Chin tucks to chest and then play with your balance, rolling to stand. Moment to moment, just staying in the here and the now. If you fall out, it's all good. We'll meet with your left knee. Inhale. Exhale. Tree pose. Place your left foot to right thigh. Every breath that you feel is that fresh start. The here and the now, it's always available for you. Rise the shoulders over the hips, head over your shoulders. Maybe you lift the arms here. We're here for three. Lift your left knee in two. One, one-legged mountain. Bring the left knee back around as you inhale. As you exhale, diving all the way back down into your standing split. Take your time, breathing in here. Then as you exhale, we'll start to look forward. Slowly walk your hands forward back into that three-leg dog. It's totally fine if your left foot comes down. It's all good, we're just playing around with it. Inhale, press the left heel higher. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Lower your right knee down, inhale, low crescent, scoop the hips forward. Tuck your toes, exhale, crescent airplane. Inhale, warrior two, open the arms wide. Exhale, extended side angle, coming forward. Inhale, reverse warrior, big, reach up and back. Straighten your left leg. Exhale, coming all the way down and around, wide-legged fold. As you inhale, hands will come under your shoulders, lengthen the elbows. As you exhale, hop or step your feet together in the center of your mat. Inhale, chair pose, all right? So finding chair, sinking low as you breathe in here. And then as you exhale, we're taking eagle on the right. So taking your right elbow under your left, pick up your right leg, cross it over your left, squeeze through your inner thighs, lift your elbows to shoulder height. A 
look at something not moving. Slowly unwind your arms, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway as you inhale. Exhale, step or hop. Feet back out wide. Inhale, walk it back around to low lunge. Exhale, final flow or right to down dog. Back bend on your inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. We breathe in here fully. Big exhale completely into child's pose. Send your hips to the back of your mat. Let your arms reach forward here. Letting yourself ground down. And without any judgment, checking within, tuning back into yourself. So maybe the yoga you're practicing now in this moment is choosing a different thought, choosing different words with how you speak to yourself. And let that continue as we start to wind down our practice. Slowly roll up to sit onto your heels. Send your legs out in front of you. So we'll start to really ground down our energy with a seated forward fold. Feel free to bend your knees as much as you want. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall here. I'll take a big inhale, start to lift the chest, sweep your arms up. Exhale, taking that all the way forward into your fold. Slowly come up then meet me down on your back. <laughs> Place your feet on the floor, open your arms into a T. Bump your hips to the right, let your knees fall to the left. And let yourself come back through center, hip shift to the left, drop your knees to the right. Come back through center. Let's hug your knees into your chest here. Maybe lift your forehead to your knees, your knees to your forehead. Let everything really squeeze in as you inhale. Exhaling out into Shavasana. The arms will come down by your sides. Let the toes flop out. Close your eyes. Just absorbing all the benefits of your practice. And we'll call you out when it's time.
Begin to deepen your breath. You draw some life, some movement back into your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes, ankles and wrists. Feel free to even take a full body stretch here, letting the arms and legs reach away from each other as you inhale. Exhaling, roll slowly through one side. You can pause for a moment before you rise all the way into a seat. Again, feel free to keep your eyes closed here. And I invite you to place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, really holding yourself, right? Giving yourself this loving embrace. Right? To affirm to yourself the power of a fresh start and to be open to how that power right, continues to show up, right? This, and this is this real inner work of yoga, this refining that skill of noticing when we're lost in the past, when we're lost in the future, when we're lost in unkind words towards ourselves, and choosing something new. Making the choice to return to the present and knowing that the here and the now is where our yoga is. Join your hands to your heart. We'll close with a full breath in, full breath out. Thumbs rise to connect between your brows, third eye center, the seat of your inner light and your inner knowing. We bow in gratitude, thanking yourselves for taking this time for your practice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, yogis, I'm always so incredibly appreciative when you come to take class with me. Um, the comment section is always open, so please say hi. Let me know how class went. Um, likes and subscribes, as you know, always help out this channel. And you can always share this class too with a friend who might need some free yoga in their life. Thank you again so much. I hope you are having um, a great fresh start to your year if you're taking this class when it comes out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.